Alright everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the online career mode, where today we're starting Season 2. If you missed the last episode and want to see how the season ended, you can click the eye on the top right hand corner, or you can click the link in the description. You'll see who all went up and who went down. But if you're here for this one, I'm going to spoil it in about 5 seconds. As we're loading up here into our second season, where we're now in League 1, and here's the tables. League 1, the ones of us that are playing, is me, Callum, Will and Seth, with Welshie and Owen still in League 2. So it's going to be a big push this time again to see who gets promoted in the Championship if we play as well as we did last season. Because obviously only three people can go up this time, unlike the four from last season. So it means if we all have good seasons, one of us is still going to have to stay down. But yeah, before we get into the actual transfer window, which is what this episode is going to be, we'll also advance to Day 2, just so we'll get our pre-contract Torres in. So then we get a clearer view of what our team actually looks like. As well as just picking the pre-season tournament, Obviously, we're going to go for the one that gets us the most money if we win it. And the last thing we're going to do before actually jumping into the transfer window is quickly look over these objectives. You know, we've got a couple of slightly important ones, like where I have to finish in the table, stuff like that. Playing with youth players. But the standout one here that is not looking great for us is the financial one. Where if they finish the season with a profit margin of 17.6 million. And I can guarantee you pretty much if we sold our entire team, we wouldn't even have that amount of money. But hey. You know, so you just see the transfer budget there that we're starting with. It's around 3 million. You just sort of see the sort of money we'll be dealing with. There's the calendar there for July and August. July, obviously, doesn't really matter because it's the pre-season. We'll just do that during the transfer window. But in August, you can see that's where the actual league matches start, as well as our first league cup match, which is against Colchester. Hopefully, we'll get a better run to the cups this season as well, instead of getting knocked out early in every single one of them. Yes, yeah, so that just leaves us one more thing to do. Let's just hop in the transfer window and see what sort of signs get made. I can't believe we're waiting for Ocean to fucking clean his body. <laughs> I think I said balls. I'm doing this whole thing laid down. Make sure you sit. Where's yeah. Will? Can't save it. Don't lose it. You here, Will? Oh. Alright, we're gonna start then. Wait, Will, you here? Say something. Is your mic muted? Fuck him. Sick. I was gonna start with Vita. He's been waiting all this time. <laughs> He's got until 10.30 on my phone to fucking say something. <laughs> What's your phone on? Right, go on. 10.28. Right, need to try and get him back. Why is he vanished? Oh. We're at least five minutes, just in case. Cause I... No, he gets two. <laughs> now one, now Seth. I'm doing this whole thing laid down. He's gonna yep, be livid. Yeah, he shouldn't have fell asleep. Remember that time Seth fell asleep? Wow. Like, what were we doing? <laughs> Thank God, he started snoring on the mic. No, we were we were waiting for like I think it was one of those drafts. Oh and yeah, Seth just like fell. second last pick. Seth just clocked out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> five, four, three, two. It's ten one. thirty on my. There it is. Ten thirty. Hey. Starting. Approach to buy. Yep. Uh, guess we are. Skip. Wait, Seth, who are you signing? Because I'm about to sign a player and I don't want him to be the same. 990k. Ooh, is he worth 2.8 million? No. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, I'm going into his contract negotiations anyway. It's some fucking uh, fructual keeper from Dortmund. I mean, Bayern. Oh. 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 What? I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain I know who you're going for, but. I just bought his release course. Who do you think? Economides. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, you um... can't. Why? Why? <laughs> Is that you, Why? Discuss that? <laughs> No. Oh, you're joking. I can't. I can't tell you why, but you can't. <laughs> why? <laughs> Are you signing him? Because I'm about no. to accept. No, it's not me. Did Will sign him? <laughs> I don't know if he's... That's a bit... Did Will actually sign him? Will we just speak? <laughs> I'm like 99% sure he did yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh, for what? fuck's sake. Alright, I just signed Curtis Jones from Liverpool. You know, Owen, I, I tell as you, you can do it because of what you did it before all of us. I don't know if we'll actually then. sign him. I just, yesterday he was saying that he's going to try and get him. <laughs> but I don't know if he... He's I'm just pretty right sure he got him. Fuck, he's a prick. <laughs> Approach the buy. <laughs> I'm trying to get a right back in. 
Yeah, good I just signed my striker down. from last season on loan again. <laughs> nice. So I just signed Thomas Den, 22 year old centre back. Oh, yeah, he's on right now. I don't know if it's worth paying 1.8 million for a centre back, but I think I've just. I just paid a release clause for one. Who is it? Guy Play called second. a Bubacar. I signed Botang. What Botang? Bismarck at, at J Botang. Right, six round the week, surely. Play center mid, CDM, right back, and right wing back. Oh, yeah, accepted it instantly. I've just signed Bruce Kamal. Also known Get as out of the A League, you fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not the A-Leg anymore, it's the Owen League. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no one else I can go for. That I've got league hardly was any... being a fucking shambles. I've got like, no money set. I've got like, three mil. That could get me one decent player somewhere else. Oh my god, for the it. last like, week I've been trying to sign Goodwing, because Will fucking signed the other cunt, and he's not fucking joining me club. I got 970 from this guy. Oh yeah! Are you taking the piss, cunt? Guess what my youth player is? Center back. Um, He's a goalkeeper. fucking goalkeeper. <laughs> oh. oh yes, beat Akrodin 4 0 in the first round of this. Oh boys, I think I'm getting the Ampadu. Whoa, really? Yeah. On loan or like as a full. full Who's Ampadu? Let me just say play for again. 18, oh. Chelsea defender. 86 potential. That's gonna work well up, but here's that. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna start screaming. You want a 57 signing bonus and a 6.1 thousand? I'll take it. There we go, have Ampadu. Nice. So my, the players I, I'm happy enough swapping for players are too shit to be worth the value. Worth like 90 grand each. Fuck this, I'll just stick to the A-League. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm trying to get good wing, because then I know, at least I know I have a, another decent left wing. Yes, he's accepted. Alright, I just signed Craig Goodwing. I will you take four grand a week? Oh, I will! Sign the left back. I signed Mufasa from Perth Glory. Wait. Kill Kenny 66. Oh no, he's only got 43 sprint speed, don't worry. Through to the knockouts in the preseason yes! cup. Who'd you get? Ainsley Maitland Niles. Holy sh shit. I got 270 grand for Cole Stockton. Yeah. Perugia in the final of the European International Cup. 1 2 1. I have the yeah. exact same team. I've got, I've got the exact same team. The exact same trophy. I'm near the end of the shit. Okay, just have an offer to for window El again? Kabir. This guy wants a crucial squad roll. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm accepting it, but it's not happening. I'm just going to oh, step with the wages he wants. Did I ask if I get an offer for like nearly anyone? I'm going to sell him. That El Kabir guy just signed. Like, he's not good anymore, but back in FIFA 12, he was a. Silver machine. And it cost me like six on the ground. <laughs> the backup left mid, so. Oh, it's got a five million offer from Swanley for Canos. Not happening. Deadline day of <laughs> Try some of some. That's nice. Some That's nice. Chelsea players. What's nice? I got a, nine, a 17 year old Cam. German dude. Uh, 73 to 94 potential. I got a midfielder for my future star. Oh, oh, this kid is going to be so good, man. He's oh, almost 72 sorry. rated already. You say your keeper is your rated already? 72. Oh, so is mine. I'm kind of worried he's reached his potential. Oh shit, I just remembered my... <laughs> my objective. Finish the season with a profit margin of 17.6 <laughs> million. <laughs> just check out that transfer oh, window. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This one, Timothy Wire. What? Ah, he had a one four. one I was after. <laughs> he had a 4.7 Hey, cockheads. Hate to sign. Yes, yeah. Ryan Brewster. No! 
it's the no only way. one I thought I'd go for. <laughs> yeah. There were no spiders, I was in to replace mine. Seth on low or for real? <laughs> I bought him, bought him. Four year contract. Yeah. It, came as a, it, it came at a loss. My youth player got sidelined for four months. You've actually done me dirty for a minute. I felt Torres still, but like, I was hoping to replace my Akamadu with either oh Brewster or Waya. Holy fuck. <laughs> Yo, can we just can we just have a look at the fucking signings that I brought in over the fucking preseason? <laughs> to me, think is buying. I really need Hall to sell so I can buy a good fucking <laughs> center mid. The league fucking two. Me, Callum, and Owen played a separation. I just cooked up a fucking financial takeover real quick. <laughs> How you going, Seth? <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. Alright, so we're just gonna pause the transfer window here quickly as we go into our first league match of the season. We are up against Luton Town, starting things off in an away game, and we're just sort of getting the team set up a bit. The new transfers that we're able to use so far are Curtis Jones, Kitlano, Jan Valery, Abu Bakar. We're getting them all in there, even like Al Kabir's on the bench. So let's get into this one. And the first chance of this game comes in the fifth minute. Abdullah Bremer, a quick one two with Fernando Torres. Bremer takes a shot, but it's straight to keeper. But five minutes after that, Sergi Canos cuts it back. Bremer rolls it across. Branco on the first time finesse, and he's tucked it away. Great start. Let's hope we can keep it going. Saying that, Luton get a chance now. The whip a deep cross in. The man at the back post is flying in with a scissor kick, but it goes out of play. Luckily for us, now 30 minutes in, got another chance. Torres plays it on the way in the canos. I think it in. Bremer gets a header, but it comes off the bar. Very unlucky there. But in the second half, we've got El Kabir up top now with Torres. It switched the formation a little bit to the 4 1 2 2 1 2. Who I think it's a bit of space. <laughs> Look at that, there's like six defenders around him. He does just finesse it in the top corner. 2-0 Leos, and just to make things that little bit better, Jones to Banks to Torres, drills it into the corner, and that's the game over. We win 3-0 in our first match. A quick training session there, we've got the new boys trained up, and in the other games, we're only going to go through the League 1 scores. I'll we'll see the League 2 table and stuff at the start and end of each episode, but because it's the league I'm in, we'll go through the results of those. So in that round, Callum, he drew 2-2 of Ipswich, Will, 5-0 win against Bristol Rovers, and Seth of a 1-0 win against Scunthorpe. So already it's pretty close. But yeah, let's get back in our transfer window. See if any more deals get picked up. This time we're on a day after, so Will's back. So yeah, let's get into that. When I once said he paid to release calls for Economitas. Well, I already am. Yeah, we know. But you were asleep, so Owen couldn't confirm it. So we had to give up either way. Yeah, I literally bought it. You know when you hopped on? Huh? Yeah, I bought him then. <laughs> wait, really? <laughs> I couldn't wait. And then you fucking took a little out. snooze. Yeah, I was fucking to put my head down. I was fucking. Whoop. I felt my eyes closed as well, and I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. And I was like, fuck it. Well, it's gonna take too long. Alright, so another quick break here in the transfer window for another game. This time it's a sim match against Blackpool. We go into it here. I was hoping just not to lose. Just so we can stay up there on the table and keep on pushing for it. And as you can see, it was close, but we do get the 2 1 win. So that's six points from two games. We we're on a roll so far. And another quick training session. And the other games, Callum got a win this time, 4 1 against Bristol Rovers. Seth picking up another win, this time against Bradford. And Will, this time, drawing to Rotherham. Already things are getting interesting. And before we get back to the transfer window, it is time for the first round of the Carabao Cup, where we've got a match against Colchester. Let's get into that. Alright, so into the match we go, and the first chance does come my way, Sergio Branco gets it out wide, brings it back in, hits the finesse shot, and oh, what a goal. He's so good, he can't wait to train him up and see what sort of level he gets to, because if he's doing that already, then whew. But yeah, the next chance didn't even come until a little bit later on in the half, that was when Branco had it again, rolled it towards Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones to Bremer, who just hits it into the bottom corner. We've got the two goal cushion now, it's looking bright. Then yeah, there weren't really any real big chances from either team in this match. But the ones I did get, I did make a count. As we can see here, when they roll the ball towards Torres, he's on his weak foot, hits the finesse shot, and it's in the top corner. 3-0 to us. And yeah, that is where the game is wrapped up. And also, the results for that round. 
everybody else went three, apart from Owen, who ended up suffering a one the loss to Luton Town. So it's five of us going into round two, which is later on this month. That'll be coming up very soon. Oh, fuck off, Gwen Doozy. Why not fuck me, Hunter Lad made that ball. That's, <laughs> Girl, that's the player being set, what? Oh, oh he's accepted oh, it. Good. Probably overpaid that because it was 850 grand for a 1 million pound player. Four year contract. He wants two years. Three years. Okay, Get in. If I saw. I may as well sell him because I've already got. Sell him, I can't sell him, so. I got a backup midfielder now. <laughs> You're not gonna pay 650 for him, then you can fuck off. See what that is? Fucking let it, you on the way out. Alright, so another quick break in the transfer window here. As we go into the second round of the League Cup, we're up against Southampton. It's a far harder draw than the first round. We're gonna try our best and see what happens, but not the most hopeful. So here we go. We've got our best team going. Southampton, pretty expectedly getting the first chance of the game. I managed to clear it a little bit, but the ball started bouncing around a bit. Ends up falling to Hjoiberg, and he just thumps it into the corner. And we're 1-0 down. But we're not going to give up easily. We've got a rotten chance where we'll cross the ball across the face of the six-yard box. But Traore just isn't quick enough to get there. And so Vanton, we're just pan on the pressure. So it was only a matter of time before this happened. So Vanton, you get quite lucky as the ball lands at them. And that's just whipped across for an easy header for Ward Price. And that is 2-0. We did get a chance here to shoot, which does come off the post. But... That was our last actual chance, and that wraps up that game. 2 0 loss to Southampton. We're out of the Carabao Cup. And in the other results, Will and Welshie were the other ones that ended up getting knocked out. All three of us to the hands of Premier League teams. That was a tough one for Will there. Fucking Everton. Imagine losing to them. <laughs> but yeah, Welshie lost 2 1 to Leicester. And then 7 3 against Shrewsbury, and Callum went through against Cambridge. But yeah, we'll just get back in the transfer window as we're getting closer to the end of it. So yes, let's get back into it. Oh, five minute offer for Canals. I wouldn't have time to get the money from him, and I'm not selling them either way. <laughs> Why is Sky going to return at all? Like, come on. Yeah, mine didn't even get tell me you went out. It just, a youth player randomly just popped up. No, we're just going to have to pause the transfer window one last time as we go into our last game of August against Coventry. It's an away game. We're simming it, which is always going to be a bad decision, but we're into it here. The first goal scored. It is Jones, but it's not our Jones. It's Coventry's. And the match says we got the whole way through, and we'll lose 1 0. And the results for that round of games I was unfortunately the only one to drop points, and I'm the only one to lose so far, because Callum won 2 0 against South End, Seth won 3 2 against Fleetwood, and Will won 2 1 against Walsall. So yeah, I've slipped. And now we're just going to head back in the transfer window for a last little bit, pretty much just deadline day, before ending off the episode and doing a recap on all the signs made. Oh, oh I've got this niche player on loan. <laughs> That's the only problem with loaning out youth stars from good teams, is their wages are so much. No, this guy's only valued at 1 million because I've only got like 500 pound left. Two year loan, surely. Yes. Fuck. Oh, you pay 60% of a cunt. <laughs> I can only pay 5%. <laughs> 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 yeah, I needed nope. to sell. I needed to sell one player so I could get a bunch of free agents, just so I had the depth. And I got an offer for Mitch Austin, and I was like, "All right, yep, take him." So if I actually sold I just four accepted players, a, a forty sixty wage split, um, that happened when it put me down to negative. Nope. Don't don't complain. Just let it let it happen. Uh, the guy has reacted to loan himself. No one's got Phil Ford in, do they? No. I don't think so. Seth was going for him, and then he got that Brewster instead. Or no, he got his U star. He was like a calm this time. I somehow managed to loan him in. This is the Jason. first successful loan I've got, cunt. Holy fuck. What? Calvin Beta. Lewin on a two year loan. Oh jeez, wow. <laughs> I was just doing it as a fucking joke. Take oh, uh, McTominay has just come as well. You've got the best loan team, Will. You're actually Mate, flying. <laughs> it's alright. It's basically a two-year loan team. Who's ready to be shat on by me? 
Not me, because Torres is going to shit on you. <laughs> not me, because Ferreira is going to go for 20 million and I'm going to sign someone for 15. <laughs> oh, oh kill him. big boy, he not using yeah, the old. Not me. I wish I get involved. Why the cross, fuck dude. would I be paying Gabba Lewin, man? He's valued at about fucking 7 mil. I could afford him then whenever your loan ends. Fucking two years time. Yeah, here he is. Michel Russo is a Italian calm. So what trying to tell me is that player I spent the rest of the money on, like I need depth in my midfield, I didn't need to buy. Player, you find Basel you has shown interest in purchasing my young star Bruno Ferreira. For a fee off. 18.2 million. Holy shit. But who? My future star, like the first one they got last season. How fucking random is he? 74. 18 million? 18.2 million. That's unreal. I literally only have an R, so I'd need... Yeah, that... That's no benefit to me right now. And you can sign players in, but you just won't be able to scout them, yeah. No, I can sign players, but no, I need to wait for him to be gone. Oh, I so the money doesn't get out of Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's not, there's no point now, then. Unless you've got the depth now in your team, so you can just sell them now, have your matches still go well, and then pick up loads in January. Ah, screw that, I'm going to sell them in January. It'd be higher rare then, too, probably. Yeah, so then I might get 30 million for him. Okay, so that is it for the transfer window. Some massive signings made by everyone. I'm actually going to put on screen all the signings that people made in and out of their teams. So we can sort of track it a bit better. There's mine to start off with. Obviously, all those big players that were signed in. Curtis Jones is the one I'm pretty much most happy about as a Liverpool fan. And then, obviously, Kit Lano seems like a brilliant left-back. Jan Valery, Boston in real life at the moment. Happy to get him in. That centre-back of Bubakar is an absolute machine so far. And then, obviously, Al-Kabir. Hamed Junior Traore, also very good. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how I did this window. Then on the Seth, how's he done that? He's made some absolutely ridiculously good signings. Ampadu, Fructal, Sandro Tonali, Ryan Brewster. That one hurt, not gonna lie. Egestein, as well as a lot of Youth Academy free agent players. I haven't added them because none of them have faces and everyone has different ones. They're all just sort of different players that anyone can get because obviously they're not real players, they're just randomly generated. And I haven't really added them in because they're unlikely to be used that much. Seth Millie signed them because his squad was running very low after people left them when their contract expired last season. That same thing goes with Will. He had to make a load too because he had so many players contract expire on him. But some of the big players that Will brought in, first of all, Economides, where he, at, <laughs> where he cheated, pretty much like, I mean, yeah, he signed them before any of us were on. But that well, what we're going to do, just have to not allow it the next time. And some of the other big signs he made, San Chong from Man U, then some massive loan players he brought in, McTominay, Foden, Calvert-Lewin, he's done bits there. And then on the Callum, got himself quite a few Arsenal players there. One of our team count supports. Brought in his old striker on loan again from last season from Derby, Mason Bennett. Obviously scored that Puskas worthy goal in real life a few weeks ago. And then on the Owen, obviously the main one standing out there is Timothy Weah, the other striker that I was wanting. But Owen did ship out a lot of players and he was able to afford to do that because obviously last season he brought in a load of players in pre-contracts. He was able to get his money up there, sign a top class player. And well, so he didn't end up making any transfers in or out this time. He was hit with some of the bad financial objectives just like I did but his were more critical so he decided to hold off for now save his players up train them maybe try and sell them for more in the January transfer window as well as probably pick up some deals there and yeah there is the final table for League 1 at the top it is Preston North End then second Seth's Mansfield third Wills Forest Green fourth Callum's Carlisle and fifth me Tranmere Rovers nothing too exciting yet we're only three games in and the League 2 top is Yeovil. Both of our tables are top by AI teams. But Owen is sitting in second, MK Dons. Then Welsh down in eighth, he's Newport. But he is only eight. two points behind second. He's still yet to lose. One win, two draws. And yeah, we'll see what sort of happens with this next episode. We'll try and get through as much of the season as we can. I'll see the check Shred Trophy starts again. We'll see what happens there as well. But yeah, that is it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. Then if you did, it would be so massively appreciated if you could drop a like on it. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. 
And yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. Genuinely means so much to me. You have no idea. Honestly, that's all I can say. So I will see you next time.